Food. <laughs> and I think our average speed is like oh gosh five ten m- kilometers miles an hour. Not even. Maybe. Uh, um, I never thought I'd say I'd be excited to see a pilot. Doesn't look bumpy on camera, but wow, bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your day. Looks like we are eating cactuses for dinner tonight because the sun is setting and this is not a trail that we are willing to drive in the dark. We had made it about 30 kilometers of our approximate 60 kilometers left of the highway. So again, it was going to leave us one more day on this crazy road. This road says, easy to love and also easy to hate. <laughs> like also, it's like really hard to hate because it's so beautiful and that's what gets us every time. There was one section on that shelf road where we were coming around the corner, there's like a brief GoPro clip of it when I was like, oh, I'm gonna film daisies. Film daisies. And just on the corner of the shelf road, driver's side drop, there was a huge pothole like where the road was just eroded. And the back driver tire dropped into it, lifted the front passenger tire off the ground. I just hit the gas because I was like, the cliff's over there. So I just hit the gas and it like lurched forward like this. And the whole camper was just like, go, go, go. I hit the whole car. Yeah, I guess you can bring a mirror lap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like, <laughs> we know, I know. I have to be reassured that the camera is attached to the chassis. But I don't think it's not. At some point in that drive, I thought it was just like, going to fall off the back and fall. That our, our house is just going to be rolled in <laughs> this unique fashion down the hill. All right, let's try this up.
Morning with day five. On our expected two to three day excursion, it felt like maybe we were never going to get off this trail and we should just create a homestead here in the middle of Baja. Yet again, we set out into the unknown territory, and at this point, we were expecting to be surprised. <laughs> At last, we were closing the gap between the dirt road and the pavement. This trip was incredible. What was planned to be two to three days turned into five, and we feel like we've accomplished something great. What was supposed to be an off-road route to the ocean very quickly found a spot in our memory bank for when we gave in to the adventure. We had no choice but to surrender to the unknown, and it turned out to be the best decision that we've made on this trip so far. Oh, <laughs> 
Touching a whale has been a lifelong childhood dream, and I am so happy to be fulfilling it.